How's it? Hang loose. Welcome to Mongoose Max Hawaii. The, uh, uh, channel. Gonna master this OB1. OB1. OBS. Dude. Okay, it's, um, well, it's leap year. It's February 29th. It only happens once every four years. Yay! But especially leap year, uh, well, it's also four years since my friend passed away, a dear friend, um, uh, well, long story, but Marguerite Joy Smith, uh, I pray for the people in purgatory, <laughs> another thing, but I'm going to go fast. So when, when she passed away and all that, her, um, what do they call it? Life celebration, basically the f f service funeral service she was cremated and her funeral service was um on february 29th and at noon and the, through the masons and that's so marguerite <laughs> she doesn't want you to cry over her remember the good times and the happy joyous and free okay so that being said also a bunch of stuff and uh it's crazy day because now i have to um chauffeur my mom to an appointment and so, um, and I didn't post yesterday because I thought, well, hey, this is just catching up to me. I'm just like, oh, there's like tubes, aches and pains. It's all kind of, I don't want to complain, but, uh, you see, about four years ago, same kind of thing, I started this. And then one time I made a promise of doing one every day because all the YouTubers are going, you don't post every day. It's over. And I'm just like, I am. So I tried to do one every day and I successfully did like a year or two of these things with every day, but I've already missed a couple days and, and that's gotta go. I think I, I don't, I just, I'm just in that gear mode of that. So just so you know, come with me and we'll see in a Imagination. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Did he did that? He did, that was a good one. That was a good movie. The rest of the ones are, are are crap. But there's still no end to Willy Wonka as his um, visit to the Chocolate Factory was reimagined by. You could buy like I don't know forty dollar tickets for you and your kids to go into Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. Yeah! Wow! It was in... <laughs> turned out to be a flop. It was in Glasgow, Ireland? England? Ireland. Glasgow. That's... Well, Scotland? I don't know. Glasgow? I think it's Ireland. <laughs> I don't know. Don't hurt me. <laughs> but it was in a, a warehouse, an industrial warehouse thing. And they don't have like, as you can see this right here, that's little snippets from it. That's why I'm just, it just, it's just too much. And that's what, and that's they hired this guy who was like, I'm standing there for four hours, he's Willy Wonka. And they didn't even have a script, you know? They, they served like a few jelly beans and some lemonade. Oh, <laughs> lick the snosh berry. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's fizzy lifting drink. It's lemonade, and uh, yeah, and they um, they had an AI generate the script, <laughs> which I thought was added thing, which made it super creepy. I'm, I'm looking here as the um, one of the quotes was um, the the uh, uh, there's a known chocolate maker known as unknown. He's known as unknown, and he's an evil chocolate maker, and he lives in the walls. This is what AI generated, and this is what this guy had to um, <laughs> tell the kids. And he's like, "Oh, I'm scaring the kids. He's evil. He's 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 an he's known to be a uh, name unknown, and he lives in the walls. He's an evil chocolate maker." <laughs> okay, and um. In our own chocolate uh, factory, the Congress, Mitch McConnell has, um, well, resigned. He's stepping down. Well, he's going to step down in November, but he's just uh, made the official announcement.
ellos que son los que son yo no sé qué hacer con estos dos And uh, there you go. <laughs> you step it up, but the thing is the scramble to who's going to take his place, right? So we have three options: a white Republican senator named John, uh, a white Republican senator named John, and a white Republican senator named John. So take a pick. <laughs> Three-point Republican senator named John. Ooh, gosh, whatever. So there's all kinds of weird and wacky cuckoo stuff, and and of course all the other stuff, which I'm just, I, I I'm, I'm gonna try to go short. This is not the time already. So uh, let's look at um, what's in the paper. Yeah, let's see if I can get this set up. Oh, paper, there it is. Uh, we have council uh, adopting monster homes bill, which is a real problem. These monster homes are just totally horrible. They just build them and they pack them full of like tons of people and stuff like that. And, it, uh, and this guy's fishing and everything's polluted and the birds are like going, oh my God. <laughs> I don't know what the going on. What does it say? News report from the Surfrider Foundation beneath the many beaches sampled on Kauai Maui. Blah, 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 blah. Surfrider Beach is uh, Kulio O Stream. Oh, I know that. No, it's like Kulio O Stream coming down. It's all pollution. But they throw junk in the stream and it just goes down. Ah. Uh, <laughs> in sports, basketball. That was quick. <laughs> I mean, but, you know, just relax, just relax. Back in the day, remember back, oh, what's this? Um, in 1992, uh, we wanted to relax, just go into the maternity ward. There's babies everywhere. Three proud mothers are off their leap year babies. So they only get like one fourth of the birthdays ever. Sorry, it's not your birthday. Are you kidding me? Your leap year baby. Leap, leap, leap over there. Oh, gosh. How about a little, oh, oh, oh. oh. Well, this is working at least. Say cheese, and I do. Okay. Um, uh, wedding port. That's why they come to Hawaii. <laughs> it's like this really ancient <laughs> alley. I don't know. The word of the week is um, something about a computer game, so we're skipping that. <laughs> nope. <laughs> and, uh, oh, look. Political cartoon. Look what's that. It's, um, my work uh, is done. After Mitch McConnell, 40 years, the longest uh, leader of the Republican Party like in the Senate. This is the guy why um, Trump wasn't impeached in the first place. He had reason to be impeached, went all the way through the House to the Senate. And this guy's like going, no. And he's free. And then Trump's like saying he's acquitted. <laughs> no, you just didn't get impeached because he said no. Ah, the insanity goes along. Uh, okay. Let's get a little finger on the pulse here. Uh, stand by Ukraine. Yes. Okay, this one is... Uh, yeah. Cannabis policies are a drag, man. They're a drag, man. Well, this one. This is highly important because... Mm, the president is going to the Mexican border? And the Congress is having problems um, passing their own, uh, well, not Congress, the House is having Republican problems passing its own Republican border strength for Republican stuff. And they're going, no, we need, an, we need an issue to bash Biden with. We stand behind Ukraine. Stand up to world bullies. If we want to continue to call ourselves a democracy, and we better start acting like one. Vladimir Putin is emboldened by our current political inaction that deprives promised help to President Vlo Volodymyr Zelensky and Ukraine. The Speaker of the House and many well-paid members are recently on vacation as our citizens and those in Europe watch helplessly. With the winter recess over, Congress needs to demonstrate that U.S. and NATO keep their promises. Let us once again stand up to the bullies in the world and show strength on the world stage. Michael Ack, Kalama Valley. Oh gosh. Um. Yeah. Uh. Here's here's the thing. There. Um. 
It's more like stand up to the world bullies. It's like a very existential, crucial freaking thing. They just don't got ammunition. They could do it themselves if they just kind of like had ammunition to do it. And if Ukraine goes and Russia takes over Ukraine, it's going to continue to do that. Look at Crimea, look at the, the Chechnya, the uh, Georgia state that used to be part of the Soviet Union. Russia wants to get big and become the Soviet power because Putin is power mad and he's homicidally insane. And this guy's a leader. And we don't want that to take over Europe. No, because that would be bad. And they, Europe would fight back and it would turn into NATO versus USSR wannabe, basically Russia and Putin. You know, um, that's why NATO is formed. And that's why Putin hates NATO and doesn't want Ukraine to join NATO because it would be a protected zone. But as soon as Russia takes Ukraine over, then it's Russia, Putin versus NATO, and it's gonna be a World War III conflict. And I don't know about nukes, but Russia's like, oh, any excuse to use a nuke, if we feel threatened, it's, and it's a massive disinformation from there. They even use Russian disinformation to accuse here. Republicans use it to accuse Biden because they want to politically win. And who's that Hannity guy or what is it? Jake, what a tra- is it? Time's up. Have a happy day. Asvidanya. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, we have to go find this thing. Here, there it is. Aloha. Aloha. Goodbye now.